All right. So for this demo, I have two instances of pulp running. They are running inside containers on different ports. Um, I've configured them at, as different profiles for pulp CLI. Um, the default profile that pulp CLI works with is defined under the CLI heading. And it's running on port 5001. Um, and uh, I have another profile defined here, and it's called CLI-bar. Um, it's running on port 8080. And right now, let's take a look at the content that's being served by both of them. Um, and neither one of them has any content served. Um, at the root, nothing is showing. This is port 5001. This page is port 8080. So then let's create uh, a remote. Um, yeah, so I'm creating a file remote, and I'm pointing it to this URL here. Um, then, And I'm creating this on the pulp that's running on port 5001. Um, so then I'm going to create a repository. Um, I'm uh, creating a repository that is going to be uh, tied to this remote that I created earlier. Um, and it's going to auto-publish. Then I'm going to create a distribution. Um, I'm creating a distribution, and I'm um, giving it this base path of my repo path, and I'm assigning it this repository, my repo. And this uh, will allow the auto-publish feature to make um, any new versions and publications that get created from those versions to be automatically distributed at this distribution. Um, so the distribution got created. So we can go see that on, on here we have my repo path. And right now, there's still no content in it because nothing got synced. Um, and this pulp still doesn't have any distributions. Um, so let's sync this repository. And because it has a remote associated with it, I don't need to specify the remote on this command. All right, so the sync occurred. We can go look, and now we can see that inside this path, um, we have three files in the pulp manifest. And once again, here, we still don't have anything. Um, so now I can uh, run this new command uh, that's pulp file repository replicate. And what I specify here is the name of the repository that I want to replicate. Um, and I specify a replica profile. Um, and so this command is going to uh, create a remote on the replica pulp that's pointing to the distribution on the main pulp. And it's going to create a repository and a distribution. Um, the repository will have auto publish enabled. And then after that, it's going to perform a sync. And I have the debug logging enabled right now. So that command did all that. And now we have the same distribution available on port 8080, the other pulp. And all the same files are there. Uh, the assumption uh, that this command makes is that each repository only has one distribution associated with it, and it actually performs some um, assertions that that's the case. Um, and that's all for my demo. Thanks a bunch, Dennis.